in Kenya and Somalia have restored diplomatic ties after close to a year of severed relations. The two nations have reopened their respective embassies and redeployed their ambassadors who had been recalled in November last year. Now, the thawing of relations came as President Uhuru Kenyatta hosted Somalia Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Roblin at State House Mombasa. Our very own Hassan Mugambi reports on the seesaw that has defined relations between the two neighbors in the last few years. The arrival of Somalia Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Roble at the Mombasa State House Tuesday rubber stamped efforts by Kenya and Somalia to reset the diplomatic relations that have been on a rocky patch in the recent past. A more than two hour meeting bringing together high level delegations from the two countries, chaired by President Uhuru Kenyatta, saw different issues including security, trade, and investment tackled. The president underscored the importance of stability in national and regional development, saying economic growth is only possible in a peaceful environment. To understand and to live with each other. So we're welcoming not just a, a friendly country, but we're welcoming a brother back to his own country as well. So, Karibu sana, Prime Minister. On his part, Prime Minister Roble regretted the recent diplomatic tiff between Kenya and Somalia, saying it was an error for the two nations to forsake the vision of unity held by the founding fathers of the two nations. The meeting coming in the backdrop of an official visit to Mogadishu by Kenya's Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Rachel Omamo, where she reopened the Kenyan embassy in Mogadishu. And that we truly look forward to having a meaningful discussions between ourselves, discussions aimed at uh, ensuring the long-standing relationship between our two countries continues to strengthen. Kenya and Somalia, neighbors who share a close to 700-kilometer borderline, have had bumpy relations. Historically, both sides have been embroiled in border disputes and an ending war of words. The ties between Kenya and Somalia, however, fell an all-time low in November when Mogadishu cut off its diplomatic relations, accusing Nairobi of meddling in its internal affairs. Somalia President Mohamed Abdullahi Farmajo expelled Kenya's envoy to Mogadishu and recalled his country's ambassador from Nairobi. The two nations are also engaged in a long-running maritime territorial feud across the Indian Ocean believed to hold valuable oil and gas reserves. That dispute is now at the International Court of Justice. In June, Kenya reopened its airspace to flights from Somalia after close to a month of closure owing to the diplomatic friction. Over the past few months, Nairobi has on several occasions threatened to shut down the Dab refugee camp, arguably the world's largest and home to hundreds of thousands of Somali refugees, giving a June 2022 ultimatum to the United Nations. With the relations now mended, the jury is out on whether the decision will be revisited. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.